I'm Evo Taz and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. If you like the content, please like, comment, and, more importantly, subscribe. We're carrying on. In the last video, we left off right here. And we are gonna head back to... I'm gonna go to the hideaway, but... Yeah, let's go to the hideaway because we've got the mission with Mid to hand in. And there's two or three other quests. My thing is, if I don't do these, I'll be kicking myself later. I like, um, I like getting everything that I can done done, and done done. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've got all the AP that we need to level all our main abilities up that we're using so that's the main thing but we're only three or four side missions away from completing them all so might as well just get them done and i want to wrap up the story on all these anyway Mid. tell me this is all you need Make it sound like I asked you to save the world or something. Tell me, this is all you need. It's most of what I need. After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. <sighs> and? And a cogwheel. Just a tiny one. So that's the problem. Gears that small are a bastard to make, and I may have lost the one Blackthorn spent a fortnight toiling over. Wait. The children. When they took apart your scales, there was a tiny brass gear. Now that I think about it, I... They didn't use it when we put the scales back together. The young'uns? But why would the... You know what? I don't want to know. I'll keep working on the model. You go and find that cog. Really? That's the mission. We gotta go find a cog. Has Midadol mentioned a new project yet? Sid! Is Mid still hiding from us? She wasn't hiding. She's fine. She's just busy working on her next project. A new invention? What is it? What is it? Is it an airship? I bet it's an airship! Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. She needs something special, something only you three can provide. A brass gear. A tiny one. One that might fit on, say, a set of scales. Oh, the one you forgot! We remember! We saved it, just in case. It's in the bag of bits. Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything we can find. All the pieces that are left over, we keep under our beds, just in case. That's good to know. Look! I found it! Is that all? Just the gear? We have more parts if Mid needs them. That's all for now. But I'll let Mid know about your... hoard. Just in case. Thanks, Sid. And back we go again. Yeah, the back and forth missions like this just seem hardly worth it. And they got a whole dialogue around it as well. They did, and they kept it somewhere nice and safe. Will it work? Will it work? He's perfect! You're a genius, Clive. What exactly are you going to use it for? Only the most important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own, but with the right cog in the right place? Well, you just wait and see. Should do her. Here. 
There goes nothing. Titan's tits. It wasn't supposed to fly, was it? Of course it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. Honestly, these bloody engines are driving me mad. I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. People will lose their homes, their children, their mums and their dads. Like I lost mine. I'm sorry. So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head or do I follow my heart? Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, I felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying, but imagine how it would feel to actually do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or shuffling to your grave. And he were right right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. People need dreams to chase, especially in a world like this. Right. When this is over, I'm gonna take all my Mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. But all that hard work... All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. Tell me, Clive. Have you ever been on a treasure hunt? Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Because I'm going to bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. A really hard one, so that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. Ooh, <laughs> I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Like that one, yeah. <laughs> right. If I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. But it in the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? Only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. Quest complete, finally. All that dialogue, I'm not really sure why, but. And model airship. Hey, was there something else in here? There always is. Has Mitterdahl mentioned a new project? Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Just kind of chilling with this game, playing it a little bit every day. Also playing Remnant 2, which 
quite the challenge. <laughs> it gives me a bit of anxiety and such, but figuring it out. Also playing Diablo uh, 4. Not really capturing it. I don't know if there's much interest in watching that. Still play my Barbarian in Season 1. Go through all these... She was worried about Jill. I should go and speak with him. Get this one done just because they were the main characters, at least. We have all our potions. Still alive, are you? Farabin. Thank you, Karen. You could do this too. Going do what? First weighing you down. It's better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It's the same thing. Joshua. I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her, now more than ever still need her but how to do that when last we were truly close we were but children of course do you remember the time we accompanied father on his annual tour of the duchy and jill and i broke from the procession to ride up man's hill yeah, to see the snow daisies i remember it was the first time father had allowed us to join him and when he realized you were missing he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. In the rain. A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? Make for Man's Hill. As always, thank you for joining me on this journey. We are very close to wrapping it up. I don't want to rush it right at the end here. This is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. There's nowhere been spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of. You of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard. To the hideaway then. Really, it made us come this way, and then we go back to the hideaway. 
Gonna make us go back to that same spot again. Oh, it's that so dude with the plants. Knows where to find snow daisies. There's so much stuff in the game that I haven't even looked at. Like, we've still got the hunt boards. There's still those challenges to do. I'm just uh, content playing the, the story and uh, progressed enough. It's not like we've had to grind any levels or any XP. Always been ahead of the game, I think. Oh, what brings you down from the heavens, Sid? I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrak. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go, then. Actually, really looking forward to the uh, the new Final Fantasy re 7 Remake Part 2. Oh my god, I just noticed there was a whole bunch of quests on the side there. These are over there. A bunch of missions over here. The Zer might at least have mentioned. Behind us. In Northridge, he'd be testing this recruit. Fortress. I would speak with this. Now look at this. Oh, wrong map. Look at this. I was thinking this is it, but damn, we got a bunch over here as well. I'll get it done. I mean, I'm playing it like I would be playing if I was streaming. We're just carrying on with the game. Killing at our pace. Do you have a moment, Clive? What is it? It's the Duke, unsurprisingly. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. Of course. Whatever you need. Thank you, Clive. What would I do without you? Philippe told me he had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Here, my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam, who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Let us speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please, proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. 
And who would make him do this? I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Does that not seem a trifle... drastic? Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. <sighs> He's always been like this. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him. By all possible means. Fight him? No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach. Not to stoke it. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope, I assure you. But I see that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy. I bid you good day. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve. Which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Families. I'm sorry, where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. I'd like to see the two of you in action together. Yeah, we'll get there. I'm gonna be in this area anyway. go over there and do the number one yeah I think I'm gonna do number one first before I get over there because that way we can pop back and carry on with the other one wait um yeah I might as well just go out here hit on the mount right across welcome back Wraiths give you any trouble Why? E. Got a chicken thing over there. Almost there. The meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. We on the oh there they are. Look, brother. Can you see them? I do. The flowers and our friends. I'm on the wrong thing. Oh, honestly, I thought I was on this. Starting spell. Let's 
hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. Get him! I thought he was stunned. Wow, that was weak. My timing was atrocious. Oh my god, the distance. Oh, come on, I'm... Trying to charge this up. You lose. You lose. I was pressing the wrong button. It was my fault. <laughs> that was harder than I expected. Jill will like them. She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. Really? We went back to the hideaway. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Okay, where is she now? I think she's in our room thing. We're here, might as well just get it done. this something be it's uh, not here now I know this is sudden but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam there are so many this is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or <laughs> tried to? How could I forget? 
he saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my married prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tor. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. Where do you see us, when all this is over? I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then... That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Clive, for this, the flowers, the... everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. 
There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. Jeez, finally. All right. Rank of XP. That's pretty good, actually. I like using diamond dust. Okay, Jillis joins Clive's party and will remain with him until departing for Arjun. We just keep getting different people on the journey. All right, where were we? We're over here. Went over here, we were over here, but now I'm here, might as well get this done. This way. Faster if we go to this one. I mean, look at these load speeds, right? And then take something like Remnant 2. You got loading screen after loading screen. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Really, standing right there in the field. Back to the stables, girl. Quinton, I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so am I. And why might that be? What he's asking? How is it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <sighs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Port Isolde. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Don't care. We'll get there eventually. Just kind of daisy chaining mission to mission. Oh no. Well met, Sid. 
This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. At your service, master. Please, just sit. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face them. Just like the man who saved my life. And who would that be? Gav. It was him who found me and freed me. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since, so that one day I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. You clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? Have I passed? <sighs> you haven't even started yet. Now listen. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, Eastwatch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. All right, Ember. Impress me. Okay, um... Grab this one back here as well. So you're content with... Please, I beseech you. If you're a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends. And someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier. Hoping to convince the dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of... Uh, you know what. They're back. Seems that way. All over, too. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clyther. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. Yeah, a lot of dialogue in this video. Quest. See where we gotta go. Let's go down here for Ambrosia won't help me here. But she will right there. Good girl. Go in this direction. Damn it. The 
reports were true. I need to stop them before they get to the town. Yeah, there's no point in doing another attack. I bet you they spawn in new enemies. Yeah, we'll leave him over there. Oh. Hope they're in range. I wish that had a bit of um, a dash to it. That he just stands there and does the punch. And usually I'm out of range. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive, it's me. Are you alright? I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found, though. Well, that's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. You head back to Northreach. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have her marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? This is exactly what the dame was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, alright? Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. See, father, the people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country? Hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. But now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword. How will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore! You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted! 
corrupt it. Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a brandit. <laughs> Jealous, are you? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Griga. Try. I met a swarm of throws coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Oh, oh fuck. There's no work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Care Norbent and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Together, for Northreach! You heard the dame. What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on! But she is but a common... Whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. The men had their orders, and they looked like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Thank you, milady. I will. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. All right. But take care. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. I thought they were going to fight them themselves and be fine. Okay, so... Get this done. You can port over to the right there and... Leave that other guy who's probably got himself captured. Wasn't expecting these things to take so long, but a couple videos, I guess. Just for the side content, and then we'll get back to the main story and uh, try and uh, wrap up the game. Ah, the wrong button. I think I should be still good. Is it 
over? No. It's only just begun. Let's try. Hey, we are gonna go after the big dude. He better take the little one down. Weird how some of the enemies have a weak uh, Some of them don't. I think I got my rotation down. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. Better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. Good to see you. And you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. For the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. You were right. And I was wrong. About everything. I had thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of Empire. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together. Not by force. nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority, but by simply being one of them. By knowing what they feel, because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, Your Eminence. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory while our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again, as did you, Sabine. His Radiance said it himself. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. I forgot that, and I am sorry. I'm sorry too, Father. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. To all of you. Your eminence. Your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity, not just for Northreach, but
for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. And today there are more than ever before. Madam Isabel is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm, but women like her. You're right. If only I'd listened to her when I had the chance. Forgive me for saying so, milady, but you still do. The dame said it herself. We can turn things around. We just have to work together. And that goes for you, too. You're one of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Let this be a new beginning. Not only for Sandbreck, but for us. Well, since there's nothing more to be done here, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. All right. Can we get you a little bit on the other side of this. The mini map was on the screen, but you could have it on the screen. It's a bit annoying. You kind of have to keep going back and forth. I saw several soldiers being carried to the bed. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'd be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Tell me, if Northridge had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm. But I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the Crystalline Dominion. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard, the gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving, half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here, in Northreach. It was the veil that took us in, that fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. Those that could be healed, at least. My love was already too far gone. He passed away. He did. Not long after we arrived. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it. Though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. 
that I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me, that I would repay my debt to the Vale. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter. All united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. Finally, quest complete. I think that's the ending of her quest line as well. What do we get? Oh, we got this stuff, which we need for that sword. And there's one left in this area. All the way over here. 